we want to determine if the graphs of the given equations would be symmetrical about the x-axis, y-axis, or the origin. And for a quick review, here are the three tests that we'll perform to determine which symmetry the graph might have. To test for x-axis symmetry, we'll replace y with negative y and see if it produces an equivalent equation. If it does, it has x-axis symmetry. For y-axis symmetry, we'll replace x with negative x and see if we have an equivalent equation. And then for symmetry about the origin, we replace x with negative x and y with negative y to see if we have an equivalent equation. While we are going to verify these algebraically, if you do have graphing software, I think it's helpful to graph the equation and test for symmetry visually as well. On the right, we have the graph of y equals negative x to the fourth plus four x squared plus five. And notice how visually this does have y-axis symmetry because if we fold this graph across the y-axis or this vertical line here, notice how the two halves would match up perfectly. Visually verifying, we should have y-axis symmetry. Notice how the graph does not have x-axis symmetry or symmetry about the origin. But now let's go ahead and verify it algebraically. So to check for x-axis symmetry, we'll replace this y with negative y, which would give us negative y equals negative x to the fourth plus four x squared plus five. We can quickly see these equations are not equivalent because the y's are opposite signs. So there is no x-axis symmetry. To check for y-axis symmetry, we'll replace x with negative x. So we'd have y equals negative and then negative x raised to the fourth plus four times negative x squared plus five. Remember when raising a negative to an even power, it would simplify to a positive. So this would be y equals, this would be negative x to the fourth because this negative here is not being raised to the fourth power, just this negative here. Plus should be positive four x squared plus five. Notice how this equation here is equivalent to the given equation, which verifies this does have y-axis symmetry. So the answer is yes for y-axis symmetry, which again we verified visually as well. And then a test for symmetry about the origin will replace x with negative x and y with negative y. So we would have negative y equals negative negative x to the fourth plus four times negative x squared plus five. This is not going to be equivalent because we still have a negative y here. On the right side we have negative x to the fourth plus four x squared plus five. Again, comparing this equation to the original, the y's are opposites, therefore we do not have symmetry about the origin. So this would be a no. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have the graph of y equals x cubed minus two x Notice how we don't have y-axis symmetry, we don't have x-axis symmetry, but by the rotational test, we do have symmetry about the origin. Remember the rotational test is we want to rotate this graph about this point here, the origin, and if we can rotate this less than one complete turn, so it looks exactly the same, we have symmetry about the origin. If we rotate this half a turn, or 180 degrees, from here to here, Notice how the graph would look exactly the same. This piece here and this piece here would just switch positions. But again, let's go ahead and verify this algebraically. So for x-axis symmetry, again, we'll replace y with negative y. That would give us negative y equals x to the third minus two x. Again, looking at this equation and this equation, the y terms are opposites. So they're not equivalent, so the answer is no for x-axis symmetry. For y-axis symmetry, we replace x with negative x. So we'd have y equals negative x raised to the third minus two times negative x. Well, negative x to the third is going to be negative x cubed. And here we have a negative times a negative that becomes plus two x. So this equation here and this equation here are not the same because the x terms are opposites. So we don't have y-axis symmetry. 
And then for symmetry about the origin, we'll replace x with negative x and y with negative y. So we'd have negative y equals negative x to the third minus two times negative x. So we have negative y equals negative x to the third plus two x. Now looking at this equation and this equation, they don't look the same or equivalent, but if we multiplied both sides of the equation by negative one, which is allowed, they would be equivalent. This is just gonna change the sign of each term. So we'd have y equals x cubed minus 2x, which now is exactly the same, and therefore the equations are equivalent. So the answer is yes. We do have symmetry about the origin. Next we have x squared plus 4y squared equals 4. This equation actually produces an ellipse, which is sketched here. Again, visually, we should be able to determine this graph does have x-axis symmetry. If we fold it across the x-axis, the top half and the bottom half would match up perfectly. This graph also has y-axis symmetry. If we fold this across the y-axis, the right would match up with the left. And then lastly, this graph also has rotational symmetry, or symmetry about the origin, because if we rotate this about the origin of this point here, 180 degrees, which is less than one complete turn, the graph would look exactly the same, verifying symmetry about the origin. Let's go ahead and go through all these tests. For the x-axis, again, we'll replace y with negative y. So we'd have x squared plus four times negative y squared equals four, but negative y squared is equal to y squared. So we have x squared plus four y squared equals four. This equation is equivalent to the original. So the answer is yes, we have x-axis symmetry. To test for y-axis symmetry, replace x with negative x. So we'd have negative x squared plus 4y squared equals 4. Well, negative x squared is x squared. This equation is equivalent to the original. Therefore, we do have y-axis symmetry. And then for the origin, we replace x and y with negative x and negative y. So we could probably already tell, but we'd have negative x squared plus 4 times negative y squared equals four, so this simplifies to x squared, this simplifies to four y squared equals four, which is equivalent to the original, and therefore we also have symmetry about the origin. So it is important that we show this work because this work is our verification algebraically of the type of symmetry that we have. Let's take a look at one more. This is the graph of y squared minus 2y to the fourth equals 6x. Visually, if we fold this graph across the x-axis, the two halves would match up perfectly, verifying that this graph does have x-axis symmetry and doesn't have y-axis symmetry or symmetry about the origin. Let's go ahead and verify this algebraically. For x-axis symmetry, again, we'll replace y with negative y. So we'd have negative y squared minus two times negative y to the fourth equals six x. Again, raising a negative to an even power results in a positive. So we'd have y squared minus two y to the fourth equals six x, which is equivalent to the original. So the answer is yes. We do have x-axis symmetry, which we verified visually. For y-axis symmetry, we'll replace x with negative x. So the left side's gonna stay the same. And on the right side, we're gonna have six times negative x. So we have y squared minus two y to the fourth equals negative six x. This equation and this equation are not equivalent because the right side, here we have six x, here we have negative six x. Therefore, the answer is no y-axis symmetry. And then for symmetry about the origin, we replace both x and y with negative x and negative y. So we have negative 
y to the second minus two times negative y to the fourth equals six times negative x. So we have y to the second minus two y to the fourth equals negative six x. Again, comparing our equations, the left sides are the same, but the right sides are opposites. Therefore, they're not equivalent. And the answer is no symmetry about the origin. Okay, I hope you found these examples helpful.